Human composting. That's right, turning corpses into fertile soil is sparking new talks of cannibalism bans in one state legislature. The process, known as natural organic reduction, has a state representative in Idaho moving to expand cannibalism laws. RS 31078, cannibalism. And I know this seems like a, it's a heavy topic, actually. It might seem kind of gruesome, and it kind of is. Idaho is the only state in the U.S. with an outright ban on cannibalism. But State Representative Heather Scott says the law needs to go further to include anyone who willfully provides flesh and blood to another person to ingest without their knowledge or consent. Scott says her campaign to expand the law came after seeing this episode of David Spade's prank show, Fameless, which aired on True TV eight years ago. The three secret ingredients that might be found in the sausage are fish liver, human flesh, or shark. Scott adding that her other concern, albeit more real than the prank show, is human composting. The practice is legal in seven states, including Idaho's neighbor Washington, which was the first state to legalize it in 2019. I wanted to address this because what I didn't want to see is bags of compost with human bone fragments. Human composting is a natural process that turns human bodies into nutrient-rich soil. The microbes in our body, the things that digest the food we eat, are hardwired to transform us back to the earth. Similar to composting food scraps, advocates say human composting provides a more sustainable alternative to death care than traditional burials and cremations and reduces a person's carbon footprint. According to the Green Burial Council in the United States, 1.74 billion pounds of carbon dioxide are emitted into the air due to cremations every year. Still, critics like State Representative Scott says they don't want human remains in their food supply. According to advocates, what is left after the composting process is one cubic yard of soil, which is offered back to the family of the deceased. Despite the controversy, more states are considering the greener end to life alternative. A bill in Delaware to allow human composting passed the state's house and now moves to the Senate.